Well, here we are trying out be live <laughs> and getting it into the Facebook page. Okay, I see. Oh, here yeah. we go. Yep. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this has been interesting. Oh my gosh. Has it not? Yes. <laughs> We're ready to go. Here we go. We are. Hi, Brooke from Belmont County Tourism. We're glad to see you. Hi, Katie. It's good to yep. see you. Um, Hi, you. A couple of other people wander in and we'll uh, get started here in just a second. Our intention is to um, uh, talk. We've got about five points that we want to make about marketing time management, digital marketing time management, that kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, the rest of it, we just want to be answering your questions or you bring your tips uh, and your advice and, and ask us questions. And if we don't have the answer, I'm sure there's some smart person in the attendee group uh, that will have the answer. Um, but um, we'll give people just another couple minutes to wander in. I'm looking at about 70 degree weather today in Texas. I don't let this sweater fool you. Oh man, and I'm at about, I don't know, in, in three feet of snow. So, and that's in the mountains of Southern California. So there you have it, boy. Absolutely. Um, let's see, and it looks like, where are we here? I'll give it like one more minute or so, and then we'll actually get rolling and make sure we don't leave anybody behind. Um, oh, I, there's Becky. Hey, Becky. Hi. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> we should just turn this whole thing over to Becky. Or actually, I should just turn the whole thing over to Becky and Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Katie Cook. Wow, it's good to see you here. Yay. Hey, what news? What news? All right, we'll go ahead and start. Um, it's the December tourism chat. We normally do uh, tourism chat as a Twitter chat, but we are, have been experimenting with doing it as a Facebook Live. Um, uh, we're on the chat organizing team, myself, Sheila Farborough with Tourism Currents, and Leslie McClellan with Tourism Currents, and then some other smart people, including Katie Atkin, who's in the, the stream, uh, uh, Laura Beth in Visit Vicksburg, Ann Swoboda, um, Laura from uh, Visit Kenosha in Wisconsin. we got a great group on the team, um, but we're sort of, we're uploading as Tourism Currents and as guest hosts today to talk about time management in general, and particularly marketing time management. So this month's Tourism Chat is a Facebook Live. We are coming in on uh, using an app called Be Live TV, uh, Be Live, all one word, dot TV, um, because I'm in Texas, Leslie's in Southern California, as she said, and this is, at this point, the only way we can figure out to both be able to do a live stream simultaneously in two different locations. Um, I think you can do it on mobile um, with, you know, somebody starts the live stream and I think you can bring somebody else in on mobile kind of natively on Facebook, but we wanted to use our desktop and this is the only way we could figure out how to do it. So that's what we're doing. Um, let's just go ahead and, and get started. Thanks so much. Um, and Becky looks like it's having some problems loading. Yeah. It'll refresh itself. Um, uh, let's just go ahead and, and get started. We've got about five points that we wanted to make about time management. And we'll kind of, Leslie and I will kind of trade off as we get going. Leslie, did I leave anything out before we get started? Nope. Nope. But in the for the sake of time, let's dive in. <laughs> okay. Again, we manage I'm our sure. time well. Yeah, I'm Julia Barbaro with Tourism Currents, and wait, I should go this way since she's this part of my screen. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Leslie McClellan with Tourism Currents, and thank you all for being here. This is, you know, we've had fun put, learning all this, getting it all together. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, um, and thanks. I see Jody Halstead's joined us. Yeah, we we were having mic issues, and so we're going with our with our built-ins right now, which I know is not ideal, but the mics were just not cooperating, so we had to 
you know, it's live. We had to go with what we had. So um, we're with Tourism Currents. We do social media training and education specifically for the tourism industry, social media and digital destination marketing. And a part of all that, no matter what kind of marketer you are, is time management and figuring out how to use your time. Hi, Elise uh, Trevor's from Denver. She's another member of the Tourism Chat team. Yay. Um, so the first point we want to make and what we call kind of today's big takeaway is social media and digital marketing tools, apps, tools, tricks, hacks, that kind of stuff, they can help you some with marketing time management. Uh, but they don't do you any good if you have not already laid a foundation for success. There's some work you need to do to lay a foundation that's not as sexy and not as exciting, but absolutely critical to your success. Uh, and all the hacks in the world won't help you if you haven't laid that foundation. Um, and just briefly, that foundation is setting goals, not only for your organization, but also marketing goals and very specific marketing goals. Not just we want anyone with a wallet to come visit or <laughs> anyone with a wallet to come to our hotel yeah. <laughs> to spend money in our tourism partner business or come to our museum or whatever it is. You, know, you want to be very specific about the kind of visitors, guests, customers that you're trying to attract. And as we've got Becky here with us, the narrower the niche, the wider the opportunity is one of the first things that she taught me um, years ago. So those marketing goals need to be very specific and you need to give them time. You know, maybe you want to grow a particular niche. You want to grow, you want to bring more birding visitors. You want to bring more culinary visitors. You want to grow your music tourism niche, you know, whatever it is. You want to grow your off season, be better in your off season. You're going to have to give it time. You're talking about, you know, a year, two, maybe even three years. So you're going to have to stay the course and be patient um, with those goals that you have set and the strategy that you do uh, before you even start talking about time management. And, um, Sheila, and then the third Sheila, one, Sheila, Sheila, can I yeah. just jump in real quick? Yeah. I just wanted to share, like, for a destination that I do the marketing for, we have three different um, segments. We have the tourist, the local, and then the second homeowner. And then from there, we break it down as, as to how we're going to market to each of those. So for those of you that are um, maybe in smaller destinations, you, you might think about that because like I have the big picture, then I have these three segments, and then I have to segment it out underneath each of those three specific segments. Just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah, you, you absolutely have to take the time to drill that kind of stuff down. So, you know, right now, if you have a CBB or DMO or tourism partner strategic plan that, you know, is sitting on a shelf somewhere, sitting in a drawer, maybe some consultant did it, I don't know. Uh, you know, one thing has to be readable and it has to be a usable document because it's going to guide how you use your time. Uh, and the third thing after strategic planning and very specific goal setting um, is planning and administrative time is, is what I call it. Take some time usually once a week to sit down with your goals, sit down with how you're measuring whether you're getting to your goals and plan at least the following week. You know, the superstars among us can plan the next month. I wish you well. I never get quite that far out. But this concentrated away from noise and distractions and phones and you know, if Katie Cook takes her team out when they do content planning and stuff to do breakfast tacos, you know, find your breakfast taco equivalent, whatever, but get yourself into a bubble. And we'll talk a little bit later about, about that content calendar planning. Leslie has a method. I have a method. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, Leslie will, but you've got to have dedicated time to sit and plan. That's so critical to the overall success of your time management. There are no magic beans in time management, okay? You've got to be very familiar with your strategy, heading toward goals, and regularly sit down with yourself and your plan, you know, for an hour a week or so, at least, to make sure you're still getting there. And that's the first point that we wanted to get across before we go to number two. Did I miss anything, Leslie? No, I think that's good. All right, go ahead with uh, point number two. Well, and, and this, Sheila's actually going to uh, 
talk about this more, but it's a real, you want to have a realistic view of, of um, the time that you have. Um, Sheila has a great story from yesterday, right? About the realistic time expectations. Yeah, I, uh, I'm the worst. I mean, just the worst about knowing how much time something is going to take. You know, knowing that, no, I don't have a jet pack on and I'm not going to make that drive in 20 minutes. I've never made that drive in 20 minutes in my life. It's 30 minutes minimum. Stop thinking you're going to get there in 20 minutes. Uh, you know, and so I've, I've literally started and I've struggled with this my whole life. And everybody is good at some things and not good at other things. And I finally just had to realize that part of my issues with time is wildly overestimating how fast I do something. And I never want to think of myself as slow. I always want to think I'm super fast, super quick. I'm just not at some things. I'm just not. And I'm 58, and it's time to deal. Right? So yesterday, Leslie and I were going to do a practice session for this tourism chat today. So we set a time for it. We're all ready to go. Well, I had scheduled myself to launch a newsletter finish editing crap finish editing and launch a blog post do some social media stuff um you know and, and there was no way i was going to be ready for i realistically no way i was gonna be ready for the practice session but of course it was 10 minutes before the scheduled practice session where i had to text leslie and go uh this is not happening there is no way and she had another meeting you know running up against our practice time and so we had to reschedule and just push it way back which of course by the time she was ready to go i was supposed to go to a holiday party last night so it, I, the whole day just like bow waved on itself and that's because i wasn't being realistic about all the things i wanted to get done before we had the practice session and that's a lesson that I've had to learn over and over again. And, and Leslie will talk about this a little more. But, you know, you cannot make time. You cannot make time. We all get 24 hours. This is one of my favorite mugs. I talk about it all the time. You have the same number of hours in the day as Beyonce. 24. That's it. And she is incredibly focused. Yes, she has some help and all that kind of stuff. But she didn't have that early on in her singing career, even before Destiny style. Don't be making it okay? 24 hours. That's it. What you're not doing is, is making time. The issue is managing time and having a realistic view of what you can get done. Go ahead, Leslie. And um, I think I'm going to maybe jump ahead just a little bit. Um, the way... I, I, I'm very, I, I love to pat myself on the back and say I'm very good with managing time. And that's because a long time ago, I realized that um, although it might not be something that I would ideally like to do, when I need to be a marketing director, you know, when you're doing that during the day, everything, you know, you never know. There's never the same day twice. You never know what you're going to get hit with. Um, like last week, we had snow, we had TV cameras from the LA market up here. You know, that shoots your day, you're, you know, that that's it. So everything you plan for that day is gone. So what I have to do, and, it, and it's not ideal, but um, this is the only way I can really stay ahead of social media. And that's really what we're talking about here, time management for social media. I do all of my social posts for all of my clients on Sunday afternoon generally because that's when I can sit quietly and you know plan everything out and we're going to talk about uh, how we do this in a little bit but you know a lot of people say hey I work Monday through Friday that's it you know what in this business we don't work Monday through Friday we're 24 7 pretty much and we're going to talk about a bit about that in a little bit too but um, for me if I want to not have to have anything back up into my marketing job that is social media related, I set everything and schedule it on Sundays. That's just the way I can do it. And then that way I'm free and clear all week long to deal with these, you know, crazy things like mother nature that happens that comes along. Yeah. I, uh, 
it, it, it's hard to, to get your arms around it. And we're not trying to, you know, a lot of people you think are superstars are just, they're barely keeping it together too. So don't be fooled by all these people. And there's some people who really do have their act together and, you know, I salute them. That's great. But, you know, don't be fooled. <laughs> a lot of like the duck thing, you know, they're just, ah. Um, so <laughs> do the best you can with what you have, where you are. But when it comes to um, getting your arms around time, you need to get better probably at saying no. Uh, we all want to be helpful. We all want to provide maximum value if you're a business person. Um, but there are times where people are going to ask you to do stuff that just doesn't, doesn't fit in with your goals doesn't fit in with your business plan, doesn't fit in with your, you know, museum's organizational plan. Um, and you're going to have to get better at just saying, you know, I'm sorry, I, I, can't, I can't put anything else on my plate right now. You figure out whatever polite way you need to say it. And if it's your boss, if it's your boss who is saying, I need you to do this thing, and you're just like, then you need to go to your boss and, and be a boss. Like, okay, boss, you told me to do this thing, and then this thing, and then this thing, and now you want to do this thing. I want to be, you know, I want to do my job, but I cannot do all four of these right now. Which one is your top priority? And I'll move things around. Sometimes bosses really have forgotten that they already told you to do the other three things. They'll be like, oh, never been on number two, delay number three, focus on one and four. Okay, okay. But you've got to be willing to, to put your arms around that 24 hours uh, in ways that support those goals uh, that you have set for yourself or your CBD, your DMO, or your tourism partner organization. Um, let's talk briefly, we've been discussing planning, and Leslie mentioned that she does um, Sunday afternoon. We mentioned back up in the beginning about your foundation, you know, that weekly planning session. Um, Leslie does hers on Sunday afternoon. Um, I try to do mine on Friday afternoon. You know, it's, it's whatever works for you. But it is, it is a, and I even have a reminder that comes up on my calendar. 4.30 every Friday. Group review and planning time. And I, I try to tell myself, okay, stop. At the end of the day on Friday, nobody gives a belief about the email you're about to send. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's plan. Let's let's think about these things. Um, but part of being able to do that planning um ahead of time. And Leslie, did you already show your super sophisticated content no, plan? Okay. I haven't. <laughs> do Think about what you're going to be doing in the week ahead. And let's talk a little bit about social media content planning. We have a whole on-demand webinar about content planning for next week. We can share the link later on. But um, thinking about filling in the blocks of what you're going to talk about on Facebook next week. What you're going to talk about on Twitter next week. What videos you might be doing next week. What blog posts you're going to try to get done next week. And you can do that, you know, in an amazing Excel spreadsheet that we have one that we use in work like color coded by whether the post is going to be sort of a sales post or is it just a general brand awareness post or is it a conversion sales lead kind of post. You know, they're all fancy. Or you can just use, you know, the old pen and paper. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> raise boots up, you can spill, you know, your Beyonce coffee all over it. Um, but you need to do some content planning so that you're not waking up next Wednesday morning and saying to yourself, it's Wednesday and I have no idea what I'm going to put up on Facebook, the cat photo. It's like, okay, and then it'll probably be great engagement, you know, but you'll be just like, this has nothing to do unless you run the cat museum, in which case have at it. But this has nothing to do with the goals that I've set, the marketing goals that I've set, the kind of visitor or customer or guest that I want to attract to my town or to my tourism partner, you know, attraction or whatever. Um, so you need to be.